We are Itunom UAUE team from Istanbul Technical University. This is our development team of 22 members with four sub teams software, avionics, mechanics, PR and sponsorship. This is our competition team who will carry out the mission. We developed the Shimshek and all required subsystems in order to finish this year's challenge. Only the safety pilot and the ground control station operator will be needed to perform the flight autonomously. The vehicle has to be able to finish its mission in 32 minutes and at the end of the task its batteries have to be in a safe range. Thus, in order to complete the 15 mile road without going over the allotted time, our vehicle is built with an average speed of 32 miles per hour. Our EAUE is built with a high load capacity so it can carry and drop 5 payloads. The UAUV has to do the drops and the flights in a stable and safe manner. In order to achieve safety and stability throughout the mission, system settings are adjusted. For waypoint capturing and air dropping, positioning is essential, so that the RTK technology is employed to improve positional precision. For ODLC, high quality pictures are required. Because of this, gimbals are made specifically to be used with cameras that are dedicated to producing high quality photos. For various payloads, the system needs to be able to identify airdrop locations. As a result, a segmented system that recognizes things shapes, letters, shape colors and letter colors is created. The system has to have the ability to drop relevant payloads based on specified objects. In order to operate the winch system, which is made to transport payloads in a safe and gentle manner, a custom PCB is created and programmed. A quadcopter has been designed that can carry the necessary payloads for a certain period of time. A drop mechanism has been designed for a gentle delivery of loads. For autonomous mission, autopilots, telemetry modules and RTK-optimized GPS modules have been installed. Our imaging system consists of a gimbal and camera. An onboard computer is used to process the resulting images for ODLC. After passing the mechanical and avionics checklists, the UAV is activated and the payloads are secured. Autonomous flight is carried out without the ground control station operator and safety pilot to reach the given waypoints. When the UAV reaches the drop area, scanning is first carried out, then the ODLC system starts and the relevant payloads are delivered one by one and start touring again. Then, when the EAV releases the last payload, it returns and lands, ending the mission. The main camera selection criteria for us were high resolution, stabilization, software compatibility, lightweight design and electromagnetic interference immunity. Also, lens choice was crucial, requiring a wide angle, adjustable focal length for various conditions, leading to the selection of the Raspberry Pi HQ camera with a 4-12mm variable focus C-mount lens. We tested our camera at different distances and with different light and focal length settings. We developed a YOLO V8 AI model for ground object detection, trained on diverse image sets for robust real-world application. Through extensive testing, the model is optimized for accuracy across various environments. In the localization part, we manually calculated the coordinates of the objects with high accuracy using the field of view, focal length, image size and altitude parameters. We trained an original artificial intelligence model to separate the letters and shapes of the object in the photograph from each other. Also, we use image preprocessing to center and enlarge letters in photos, enhancing model clarity and accuracy for more precise letter recognition. Our color recognition system features a highly accurate neural network capable of identifying colors in images with an impressive 99% accuracy. By employing specialized layers for pattern analysis, our model excels in precise color recognition. This breakthrough in artificial intelligence offers practical applications, from image editing to assisting individuals with color-related tasks. We identified the shapes in the photograph using the hue moments values. 
This method relies on quantitatively evaluating various features in the image. The analysis results have achieved significant success in the field of image recognition. For character detection, we trained an artificial intelligence model and we further enhanced its accuracy by training it with various leather examples extracted from the photographs we captured. Our data processing and evaluation system has been developed to process simultaneously to avoid loss of time. ROIs detected in this communication system are first separated from each other by shapes, letters and their colors, and they are processed in different systems at the same time. Afterwards, the data are collected in the same data frame without mixing. The decision mechanism works with the data in the data frame and detects the correct shape. For the airdrop, we engineered a wind system prioritizing simplicity, speed and safety in load delivery. This setup comprises a carbon platform housing 5 DC motors and PLA pulleys, each equipped with a servo motor and secure lids that hold the loads to prevent overheating in the cart and motors. To release the payload, we choose a sewing thread slightly shorter than the drop altitude, eliminating the need for an additional rope cutting mechanism. This approach minimizes accidents from extra rope on the pulley and reduces both weight and complexity. To control the airdrop mechanism, a custom PCB was developed, incorporating necessary regulators, a microcontroller and DC motor drivers. By interpreting PWM signals from the autopilot, the drop system knows precisely when and which payload to release. The drop sequence initiates as the lid beneath the drop system opens sequentially according to the PWM signal. Upon reaching the designated drop location for a specific payload, the system is alerted, prompting the relevant winch to execute a safe drop. Optimal drop times were determined through tests manipulating motor PWM values to measure and calculate drop times, ensuring a gentle and secure delivery process. Airdrop subsystem is tested numerous times both on ground and in air to evaluate its safety and reliability. The mechanism worked as intended, ensuring a safe and gentle delivery. Airdrop was attempted 67 times, 58 of them landed and stayed in the drop area and were considered successful. On average, one drop takes 22 seconds to reach the ground. Successful drops stayed approximately within the 86% of the drop area radius. Our communication system consists of our telemetry modem and our C receiver to carry out the mission. Our communication diagram can be seen on the screen. The RFD900X is used as a radio modem to transmit telemetry data in both the ground station and aircraft in the 900 MHz frequency band with a range of 40 km in the open area and it uses the MAV link protocol for communication. It has frequency hopping spread spectrum which prevents frequency interference with other radio modems that can use 900 MHz frequency band. It can transmit telemetry data and command and control messages that can be used for arming the vehicle and starting the autonomous mission. The safety pilot uses a Futaba T14 SG radio controller which can broadcast at 2.4 GHz bandwidth with a range of 2 km to communicate with the UAV through the onboard receiver. As observed during the test flights, the unmanned aerial vehicle traveled up to 2,400 feet away from the ground station and the safety pilot without any communication interruptions. Telemetry, command and control messages continued to be transmitted healthily. Communication tests conducted on the RFD900X showed that the received signal strength indication value averaged 229.1 at a distance of 1,000 feet and was calculated to an average of minus 37.45 dBm. Additionally, according to the tests, with a packet loss rate of 2%, the efficiency was observed to be above 98%. The signal strength of data received from the remote control at the same distance was seen to be 95%. Communication was conducted smoothly thanks to the high performance of the models used. For the Shimshek, X quadcopter configuration was used as it provides speed, lightness and agility. This configuration with optimal dimensions and weights can deliver the payload to the mission area at the desired time. 
The body of the Shimshek is made of three carbon fiber plates on top of each other and eight carbon plates on the sides, fastened together with spacers to prevent deformation due to motor force. The use of carbon fiber provides a lightweight yet strong structure, while the spacers distribute forces and prevent bending or twisting. In our cloud copter design, manual labor is avoided to minimize manufacturing errors. For this reason, the plates were shaped by laser cutting. The motors of the vehicle are connected to the body by thin-walled carbon fiber pipes. While determining the diameter of the carbon pipes, it is aimed to minimize the thrust loss caused by deformation and weight. In order to meet these parameters, the optimal value was used from the experimental data. The quadcopter's motor pipes were connected to the body using aluminium unions set at an 8 degree angle for increasing stability, with foldable mounts chosen to enhance portability. The quadcopter was powered by T Motors P80 Type 3 motors and 30 inches carbon fiber propellers in T Motors combo pack that include high voltage ESCs attached to the motors. The selection of the propulsion system is made based on speed, thrust to weight ratio and power consumption to ensure agility. Shimshek has a battery configuration of 12S and 50,000 mAh consisting of 4 LiPo batteries. They can provide 42 minutes of flight time in ideal conditions for the vehicle to successfully complete its mission. To prove that the vehicle is capable of performing the mission safely, several tests were conducted step by step. In this scope, a total of 36 flights were performed with a total flight time of 321 minutes, 9 of which were performed without airdrops while the remaining 27 flights were performed fully loaded. During the conducted test flights, the turning radius of the vehicle was examined at an average speed, which is ideal for the mission and it was ensured that the vehicle could successfully perform the mission by staying within the mission boundary without exceeding the 150 feet turning radius. The average speeds reached in 28 flights are as follows. This shows that our UAV can reach and go beyond the required speed of 46 feet per second to complete the mission within provided time limits. During the flights, it was tested if the batteries can meet the desired flight time. It was observed that the vehicle's batteries could show the desired flight performance by staying within the safe margin at the end of the mission. The Pixelk Orange Cube with Ardocopter firmware has been selected for autonomous flights due to its proven reliability in previous years. This autopilot system offers various functionalities including autonomous mission capabilities with takeoff and landing. Ardocopter allows us to fine-tune our vehicle's parameters for stable and safe flight, ensuring successful missions. The software, hardware and communication protocols of the Ardocopter firmware are open source, which allows for easy integration of the team's own components and compatibility with third-party modules to carry out the mission. During missions, when the drop area is reached, the autopilot initiates the ODLC software by transmitting the vehicle's state to the Jetson NX. The autopilot then follows commands from the Jetson NX to guide the vehicle to the correct positions for payload delivery. The server rail of the autopilot communicates with the drop PCB using PWM signals to specify which payload to deliver. At the ground station, we utilize Mission Planner for interacting with the UAV. Developed specifically for autopilot, Mission Planner enables flight control and monitors the autopilot system's functionality, ensuring its proper operation. Additionally, our system employs real-time kinematic positioning support to enhance positioning accuracy for both airdrops and flying waypoints. To test the performance of the autopilot system, we have made aggressive flights. The autopilot demonstrated excellent performance, ensuring the safety of the mission. During testing, our UAV flew 321 minutes in total. We have conducted fully 22 autonomous flights that lasted 268 minutes. Around 700 are attempted throughout the test flights and all of them are captured. Additionally, this accuracy is achieved due to the use of the RTK system and the correct tuning of the vehicle by performing autotune. In order to ensure safety and avoid other aircraft during our missions, we have integrated obstacle avoidance capabilities into our system. Utilizing the RP leader A2M8, which offers 360 degree detection with an 8 meter range and is compatible with Ardocopter firmware, we have equipped our UAV with the ability to detect obstacles in its surroundings. 
For obstacle avoidance, we employ the Bendy Ruler algorithm, which operates by dividing the area surrounding the drone into small cubes and determining the distance to the nearest obstacle in each one. This algorithm generates a virtual ruler that adapts around obstacles in the drone's path, continuously updating it as the drone moves forward. This enables real-time obstacle avoidance without requiring human intervention, enhancing the safety and efficiency of our mission. Our obstacle avoidance system is tested both with our test drone and the competition drone. It performed well as expected. Our vehicles were able to avoid obstacles and continue their mission in a safe manner. To perform the mission, our team designed a hexacopter first. After reviewing our design and correcting our calculations, we have realized this approach was not suitable to meet requirements regarding weight and speed of the aircraft. In addition, the drop mechanism was updated to a LED system with five servo motors for longer flight time and the ability to drop the bottles one by one. And the drop mechanism PCB was updated by adding an extra controller to control the servo motors after the tests. Last year, we used the clustering method for segmentation, but we achieved much better results with this segmentation model. Therefore, we opted to progress with the segmentation model. Also, we used the match shapes method for character recognition last year, but this year, the results we obtained from the YOLO model trained for character recognition were better. New members are trained to avoid injuries during production. To prevent any delays, spare parts are prepared and kept ready. Structural analysis during design and endurance tests during production are conducted to ensure safety and reliability of the vehicle. For avionics to function properly and not be affected by electromagnetic interference, the power distribution is made outside the avionics layer. To prevent a possible telemetry loss, antennas placed regarding their radiation patterns. A remote controller with sufficient range is chosen to prevent RC loss. A reliable and tested mechanism is used to minimize the risk of failure during the mission. A winch system is designed to deliver the payloads gently. We repeatedly test our autonomous mission system in both real-world and simulation environments. We tested our system for tracking its performance and making adjustments using our competition vehicle and test drone. We have also used Shimshek for 10 complete mission tests. The table displays the results of every complete mission test, the average of all test results, and the predicted performance. We have carried out the three flights that the rules book specifies in order to demonstrate safe flight. Our safety pilot took off on first flight, flew a thousand feet away, brought the vehicle back and made a landing. An autonomous flight is carried out for the second flight. UAV completed takeoff and recorded waypoints at a distance of 200 feet. After that, our safety pilot put the car in loiter mode, drove it back and made a landing. To demonstrate that the system can meet all flight performance requirements, we conducted a fully autonomous flight with takeoff and landing for the third flight. Fully loaded, our vehicle reached a height of 100 feet and covered a distance of 15 miles in a single flight. Waypoint radius is set to be 15 feet to prove the vehicle can capture the waypoints with a maximum error of 25 feet. Our vehicle can perform turns and capture waypoints without worrying about turn radius because it is a rotary wing. Nonetheless, we use zip lines in our path planning to shorten flight times and boost total speed. Our UAV was still able to make turns with a turn radius of less than 150 feet even with zip lines incorporated into the flight path. Our vehicle can climb and descend at any angle because it is a rotary wing. Our vehicle was able to maintain an altitude above 75 feet when it was over 200 feet from the runway by climbing after takeoff. Using a runway that is roughly 70 feet by 75 feet, our vehicle can take off and land vertically. In this video, we introduced our vehicle and system that we prepared for this year's challenge. The mission will be carried out autonomously with high confidence of success. Just like last year, we aim to be first with higher scores this year too. We wish everyone good luck. We are flying to glory.